Prince Harry wife Meghan Markle arrested. Did it really happen or the rumours are fake? A tabloid's discover story claims that Meghan Markle was taken into custody. Is Meghan Markle really arrested? Let's check it out. If it's true, Meghan Markle busted. According to New Idea, Meghan Markle has been taken into custody for protesting. Apparently, the royal family and Prince Harry who were appalled by Markle's actions. The tabloid claims that Markle was ready to protest for black life, even if it, that meant getting arrested. However, there is huge difference between getting arrested and the promise of arrest pictures as claimed by this tabloid. The article content is way different from its cover. The tabloid's article talks about an interview with Markle and some comments made by her for ongoing protests. It even claims that even though Queen Elizabeth, Prince Harry and other members of the royal family won't be happy to hear about Markle's support for the ongoing protests, it didn't affect her. It's a little hard to process why the royal family would be against Markle for supporting a social cause. The tabloid has tried to make a vague and totally bogus story from Meghan's words. The tabloid's half-baked comments doesn't reveal anything about the royal family's reaction to Markle's support. Markle's arrest and international news we can safely conclude that the story about Marcus's arrest is totally made up. The tabloids are keeping a close watch on Megan's actions, but that doesn't mean that everything they publish about her is true. If Markle was actually arrested, it would be the, on the front page of every newspaper. It won't be revealed by a tabloid. What it means that Harry and Meghan will split coats from William and Kate. The royal family is reportedly splitting up. No, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle aren't divorcing, though their court is breaking from... Prince William and Middleton's in the coming weeks, according to the Sunday Times. But what exactly does splitting courts mean for the Royal Fab Four? First up, let's discuss what a royal court is. It's really just a fancy way of saying the royal team. Right now, Prince Harry and Prince William share a joint team or household based at Kensington Palace, which serves their professional endeavours. And as the brothers' responsibilities begin to shift in different directions, establishing separate courts will help them carry out their new duties after Prince Charles ascends to the throne. Prince William will become the Prince of Wales, making his role in the royal family vastly different from Prince Harry's, who is sixth in the line for the throne. Despite the former court separation and Meghan and Prince Harry's move to Frogman Cottage, their offices are expected to remain at Kensington Palace. Not only will the separate courts be compromised of different staffers and serve different duties, they will also play a huge part in each couple developing their own media voice. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan, have become increasingly more political with their statements and the organisations that align themselves with, while the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Kate, not so much. This is most likely due to Prince Philip's place in the royal family versus Prince Harry's, is someone who has a good chance of being king one day has to follow the royal protocol more closely than someone who doesn't. Hence why Meghan and Prince Harry can get away with being more lax at times. This isn't the first time that the royal family has created separate courts either. The brothers first created their own household in 2009 after they broke away from their father, Prince Charles's court at Clarence House. According to the Telegraph, in other words, this is totally no big deal and the Fab Four can still all be close friends. It is more a professional separation than a personal one, no matter what the tabloids try to sell it as. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle sue photography agency for violating Archie's privacy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle launched another lawsuit for violating their family's privacy. This time, the Sussexes are going after Splash News and Pictures Agency, whose photographers allegedly papped the couple's toddler, Archie Harrison Mount Benton Windsor, while they were still living in Canada. According to Daily Mail, Prince Harry and Meghan filed a case citing a breach of the Data Protection Act in a court in Los Angeles. Originally, the couple wanted to pursue a legal case against the photo agency's UK section, but they're now seeking permission from the court to serve the US section, which is based in Los Angeles. The judge granted the Sussex pair the permission. The photo in question is of Megan walking her dogs at Vancouver's Hawth Hill Regional Park while cradling Archie using a baby sling. The baby's face cannot be seen because of his winter clothing, but the Duke and Duchess of Sussex claim this photo is still a misuse of Archie and Megan's private information. Megan and Archie's photos were sold to the tabloids. Their lawyers stated in the court that the images were captured while the mother and son were having a private and recreational time in Vancouver. The lawyers also stated that prior to the photo in Regional Park, a photographer went to the house of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Steve Dennett allegedly cased the property where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stayed and took photos despite the security fence. 
the claim stated that this was not an incidental encounter in the park after the lawyers of the other party said Meghan knew what was happening. They argued the fact that the Duchess of Sussex carried on walk despite being photographed meant that she was fine with it. Meghan and Prince Harry have existing lawsuits against three British tabloid agencies. The Duchess of Sussex has an ongoing deliberation with the Associated Newspapers over the publication of her private letters to her father, Thomas Markle. The first court hearing of the case took place during the lockdown where the judge ordered to admit parts of the claims. However, the judge granted Megan's request to keep the names of her good friends of public records. After learning that the tabloid had plans to print their profiles in the details, the trial will continue in 2021, but Meghan and Prince Harry also issued zero tolerance from the tabloids. They said that they will no longer engage or respond to its reporters. Meghan and Prince Harry's legal battle are all privately funded. Should they win the cases, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex pledged the money to anti-bullying charities. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle blasted for undeserving Netflix deal for lack of experience. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle apparently landed their lucrative Netflix deal because of their profiles as royals. However, one TV panelist believes they do not deserve the 150 million US dollars deal, which should have gone to a real talent. According to Jane Moore of the program Lose Women, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle most likely received the Netflix deal to produce films and TV shows because of who they are. The TV host said that the Sussex pair doesn't deserve this opportunity because they do not have the experience of running a production and they have not proven that they can produce a TV show. Moore said that it irritated to know her that there are so many other talented people who have gotten the Netflix deal instead of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. She cited producers like Shonda Rhimes and Ryan Murphy who built their careers for a decade before earning a multi-million deal with the streaming platform. However, Moses' co-panelist Gloria Honeyford said that this didn't surprise her since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle planned on going commercial when they stepped back from the royal roles. They needed to make tons of money after declaring they wanted to be financially independent from the royal coffers. While Honeyford understood what Moore meant about inexperience. She believes that Prince Harry and Meghan's profile will attract an immediate worldwide audience. The Netflix deal will allow the Sussex pair to pay back the money they owe British taxpayers for the renovation of Frogman Cottage. Meanwhile, sources said that Meghan dreams of having full creative control over their shows. According to The Sun, industry sources told them that the Duchess of Sussex wanted to be the Mother Teresa of Netflix shows, but she will likely be in for a disappointment. The source said that TV networks, including Netflix, don't give producers full creative control. Megan's plans will likely not pan out the way she wants because the network bosses will still have the final say aside from Netflix. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle apparently also talked to executives at NBC and Disney. The mobile streaming platform QB also tried to sign the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to boost their brand, but the couple ended up with Netflix. According to reports, their decision wasn't surprising since Netflix has the Obamas in their roster. The sources said that the Sussex pair is trying to follow the former White House couple's career trajectory. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry's body language hints at marital problems. Here is the truth. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently sparked rumors that they could be having some marital problems. New Idea spoke with a language expert who analyzed Prince Harry and Markle's movements and interactions during a Zoom call. The expert claimed that when Meghan Markle speaks, it's like she's overshadowing Prince Harry. The Duke of Sussex, on the other hand, tends to look down, which reportedly suggests that he feels uncomfortable. However, Gossip Cop quickly debunked the claims by saying that Subconscious body displays cannot be an indication that the couple is having marital problems and the fact that observations were made just on one Zoom call suggests they cannot be generalized. The rumor debunking side slammed the body language expert and the tabloid for saying that Michael and Prince Harry are having problems when they are not. This so-called expert is looking at a grainy Zoom interview to conclude that an entire family is in danger. The actual Zoom call itself was for the Queen's is Commonwealth Trust and in it both the Duke and Lots of Sussex praised Queen Elizabeth something conveniently left out of this story. They said Gossip Cop also called the tabloids article preposterous. 
and they also noted the fact that Prince Harry had a lot to say during the Zoom call. This means that Markle didn't overshadow him in any way. Meanwhile, New Idea has been publishing dubious stories about the royal family for years. Just recently, they pitted Markle against the Queen. A source claimed that the monarch was planning to confront Prince Harry and Markle in the United States about finding freedom. The claim just died a natural death, which proves that it is false. It is unlikely for the Queen to travel to the United States to confront the Sussexes. If she wanted to talk to them, she can reach out to them via a phone call. New Idea also previously claimed that Marco was keeping her son Archie away from the Queen. The suit's alum allegedly threatened not to let the Queen see her great-grandson because of the ongoing feud. And there was also a dubious claim suggesting that Marco stole the Queen's jewellery. And the Prince Harry's his wife also allegedly put the crown jewels at risk. However, none of these claims are correct. Markle and the Queen are not feuding.